Okay, folks, welcome back. And in this lesson, I'm gonna be talking briefly about setting up the camera. Uh, the scene that we have here for zero for lesson zero four zero two uh, is a much more simplified version of what we had and what we've been working on uh, throughout this course. But I'm just gonna be, uh, you know, giving you some hints where to start your camera uh, animation. So let's go ahead and uh, here is the scene. And I'm just going to quickly make sure it's actually we have the right aspect ratio here. And let's go ahead and add a camera. Uh, and let's go ahead and go through and look through that camera. Uh, and for this motion design, the focal length I used was uh, very wide, uh, something like 15. Uh, and uh, using the sort of wide angles, really helps to make the uh, motion to look much more dynamic. I'm really a big fan of using uh, wide lenses uh, when the time comes to designing uh, this sort of dynamic motion design because it really helps you to uh, sell the shot and uh, make the shot to look much more dynamic and much more live. So let me uh, show you where to start. So we have our camera. And the next thing I'm going to do is to actually uh, control the camera uh, with uh, two nodes. I mean, it really depends on your scene and how much uh, detailed uh, control you want you you want to have over your camera. But in this case, I used two nodes: one node to control the position of the camera, and one node to control the rotation of the camera. Normally, I, I might use, uh, for example, three nodes for just rotation, each node for each axis, heading, pitch, and uh, banking, basically, and I be controlling each axis for one specific node. Uh, this is one way of doing it if I really wanted to have very, very extra detailed mo control over my motion. But in this case, I just used two null. So in order to make sure uh, you are having it right, uh, just create uh, two nulls in this case. One of the nulls is going to be for the position, P for position, and the second one is going to be for rotation. So I'm going to make the uh, rotation to be a child of my position null and make the camera to be a child of my rotation null. So if you take a look at the position and the rotation null uh, are exactly at zero, zero, zero point. And this way we are really gonna uh, be able to have a very uh, uh, great control over our camera's motion. So if I go just a bit closer to my uh, scene here, there we go. I can go ahead and select my rotation control or rotational control or whatever you want. And as you can see, we can have some extra detailed control. Let's go ahead and, for example, change it this way. And you can see uh, because the camera is very wide, it really helps to uh, make the scene to look extremely dynamic and fun. So let's go ahead and add some extra detail. And if you want to control now the position and move your camera, you simply go ahead and select your uh, position null and kind of move your camera and you can have some uh, much more better control over it. So let's just uh, go ahead and uh, zero out this wall use. Uh, sorry. There we go. And perfect. And uh, we can actually go ahead and uh, still move our camera if we want to have, uh, you know, add another layer of motion there. So Really, that's about moving the camera, and you can uh, go ahead and create some cool stuff. Let's go ahead, for example, uh, control our rotation and position, and let's go ahead and add a um, keyframe here, and let's go to maybe frame 25, and then I can go ahead to my uh, rotation control here, and I can go ahead and create some nice uh, motion here, maybe something like this. Okay, and let's uh, maybe move our camera a bit farther away. And let's go ahead and select both of these nodes and set another keyframe. And if you take a look, we are having this extremely nice and dynamic motion. You see there? And now, boom, boom. And we can go ahead and if you want, add some extra motion here so maybe just a few degrees down here set another keyframe and if you go to something like 50 frame here 
and hit play we're gonna get this very nice and detailed motion you see there boom now we don't have any motion blur it might seem a bit uh, kind of awkward uh, that quick motion but uh, if you take a look boom. so you can see it's very simple to control your animation using uh, this sort of uh, hierarchy basically you don't camera by itself even though if you want you can but you control the camera using tunnels and that way you are gonna uh, be able to control your camera in a much more uh, sufficient way so this is about the camera motion and really just using these tunnels and the camera I added all of those uh, detailed motion and you can go ahead and do the same thing but as I said because it really take forever if you go through and uh, you know animate the camera uh, you know uh, throughout the timeline and throughout the motion that we had uh, so I'm gonna just uh, stay with it and uh, use the camera motion that I uh, had and uh, I just wanted to make sure you understand if you uh, haven't uh, been watching our courses because we have a few other courses on our website mographplus.com that we uh, talking about the camera motion as I said quite extensively so if you really think you need uh, some extra information about how to move the camera and how to animate the cameras I highly recommend that you go there and watch those courses we got these uh, the gift project the box studio project and the motion graphic in cinema for the unreal flow especially the gift project is where we uh, go through the camera motion uh, I mean uh, uh, we, we we really go uh, crazy about it we do a lot of stuff with the camera we um, animate multiple camera we use the morph camera and a lot of other stuff that I think uh, if you really need some information about the camera motion I seriously recommend that you go there but for this uh, course I just uh, think it would be enough uh, and uh, uh, hopefully you go there and animate your uh, cameras by yourself and I uh, seriously uh, uh, recommend that you don't uh, use my camera that I will be providing with you and uh, you have access to uh, all of uh, the lessons that uh, we go through them uh, and you go and create your own camera create your own motion and it will definitely gonna be much more fun for you and you're gonna have uh, to face some other challenges and solve them and really learn and uh, basically uh, get much more much much more out of this course so see you in the next lesson where we basically start to uh, attaching our letters to the uh, different cubes and basically um, uh, yeah and after that we can start preparing materials and lighting and uh, final render so see you there